<laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our video of uh, Rahu in the fifth house of your Dasamsa chart. As in, what happens when Rahu is in the fifth house of D10 Dasamsa, which is, as you know, the chart of obligation to society you have. It's a chart of your career, it's a chart of your karmas that are being exhausted into the world. You know, um, I know as much as Parashra has given a very low point to the Samsha, perhaps he would have given a higher point in Kali Yuga. I don't know, because I tend to see a lot of uh, things exhausted, you know, especially when it comes to uh, Dashas. I mean, the Samsha cannot be ignored. You know, I mean, birth, the Samsha, Navamsha. So here you have Rahu, and of course, if you do not know what sign Rahu is placed in all your astrological details, check out karisastrology.com under shop section, where you'll find my books, reports, consultations, and link to my academy, Magha Vidhi Academy. And of course, I'm wearing these glasses because of my infection in the eye. And I know why I'm getting it. I self-predicted it. And till September, I'll have to deal with this. That's why I'm wearing these glasses. So Rahu in the fifth. Fifth house represents subordinates. Because subordinates, subordinates are like children. You know, you teach them, you play with them, you discipline them, you know, and you get ideas and suggestions from them. It's like children. Fifth house also represents change of work, change of um, profession major transformation in profession. I mean, fifth house can also actually be seen as a house of retirement, you know, or like a long form of retirement. Then you have Rahu here. So one thing we see with Rahu, and this is again, without any benefit or malefic impact I'm talking about, but here Rahu can first of all, give you many, many subordinates especially in its dasha and if especially there's a raj yoga occurring in the birth chart you will have many many subordinates many many people under you usually this is also the particular position nowadays especially since i would say like 2014 15 this represents a person who can become a um, social media influencer also there's no such thing influence because whenever you start influencing some people you know the big brother steps in and takes you away but it's these social media personalities because everybody's following you everybody's being impacted by you everybody's being influenced by you so here Rahu can definitely play that part but one thing we see at one point or another one of the subordinates definitely cheats this individual for example maybe they're cheating them by not working they're clocking in clocking out but they're doing like quarter of the work and pretending like they're doing the whole work so what is happening? They're kind of cheating the company or this person off of, you know, the work that they're uh, holding them responsible for. What happens is sometimes a client or somebody can come in. If you have a business that is like commission based, client based, they may suddenly quit and take your clients and try to do something on their own. Um, this has happened with my company that cleans my fish aquarium. Um, there are three employees quit and texted me, hey, we'll give you a discount if you do this. And I knew, and I called them like, wait a second, is this you? They're like, no, 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 they quit and they have taken all of my contact information and they're just like ruining my business. And the, the original business actually shut down. I don't know why, but I'm guessing it's the, it's the people who took the business. But I told them straight up, I'm like, no, nope, don't ever contact me again because that's you taking somebody else's food from their plate, no. You build your own food plate on your own. But this, this is what, you know, um, a person may go through. A person will deal with. Um, and Rahu, you know, in the fifth house shows, because again, fifth house represents the creative aspect. And such people must create something unique in their work to feel like they're accomplishing something. Because again, Ketu is something that is finished. Rahu is something that you're trying to accomplish, trying to progress towards. 
So this is why wherever Rahu is in the, you know, the Samsha, it shows where this person wants to progress. So here progress, progress will always come through being a outcast creative individual. But again, Rahu is also contamination. This is what contaminates the fifth house. Some to some, some degree. Now, if let's say Jupiter is somehow impacting this Rahu, yes, that becomes a savior. <coughs> See, omen. The dog's barking. So Jupiter with Rahu will become a savior in the Samsha. And it'll progress <coughs> Rahu to new heights. Okay, but also Rahu shows one's love for gambling at work, uh, taking chances at work, being a risk taker at work. Okay. So anyway, guys, uh, this was my analysis of Rahu in the fifth house of the Samsha. Um, if you're new to my channel, subscribe below. Otherwise, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.